Hi, it's October 17, 2020. This is Andrew in Omaha, Nebraska. And I wanted to address some questions that I sometimes get about the Tandy Leather Factory. Um, whether Tandy's any good, whether I should shop there. And the short answer is yes. I highly recommend Tandy Leather to anybody who is wanting to get uh, introduced to the leather craft hobby. Um, you know, uh, Tandy is kind of like the Walmart of leather craft. They have stores all across the country. They have one here in Omaha. It's at 84th and Center, if you're familiar with the Omaha area. It's a very nice store, and nothing beats being able to just go into a store and browse around, look through the pieces of leather they have, look through the hardware. Uh, you never know what you're going to find uh, that's going to catch your eye and uh, get you inspired to make something cool. Um, <clears throat> You know, uh, they offer a whole range of tools and products. You know, here's a fine edge beveler that I use all the time. That came from Tandy. Here's a stitch groover that I just finished using on this holster I'm stitching together. That came from Tandy. I guarantee you every saddle maker and uh, leather crafter across the country has tools on their workbench that came from Tandy. Are all their, is all their stuff perfect? No. Uh, I've been critical of the strap cutter uh, that they have. Um, I prefer the American made version versus the Chinese version. Um, but uh, Tandy, you know, they're starting to offer a lot of cool stuff. I just was on their uh, website recently. I haven't been on it for a while, but they've changed stuff up. They are now offering products from Maker's Leather Supply, like their uh, billfold uh, patterns here. This is the back side of their bifold billfold pattern. I made this wallet from that pattern. They have uh, uh, all these YouTube videos uh, that are very detailed of how to put this stuff together and it just step by step baby steps all the way through it and you can end up making really cool stuff. And now uh, Tandy's carrying their, their products. Uh, they're also carrying a leather machine company uh, they're carrying all these sewing machines, uh, leather finishing machines, um, all sorts of stuff. And it seems like they're trying to uh, hit uh, all spectrums of the sewing machine market. They have entry level machines on one end and they have the highest end uh, sewing machines on the other end. And they got some stuff in the middle. I think they have the Tipman Boss, they have a machine from Sailrite, and then of course the uh, Cobra machines. Um, I think there's a couple others in there that I'm not thinking of. But, uh, you know, uh, industrial sewing machines are expensive no matter what. Uh, and uh, it seems like that they want to cover the, uh, everybody who is possibly trying to get uh, into a leather sewing machine. They also have, like, all the Phoebe's products, which are very good. Uh, all the Tandy dyes and uh, paints I've never had a problem with. Uh, they all work good. Um, uh, they have, like, barge... Uh, leather cement there. Um, they also have their own brand, house brand of uh, leather uh, contact cement. All works just fine. Uh, their leather, they have like these uh, Craftsman sides, which is kind of their cheapest tooling leather. But, uh, you know, it works fine for uh, projects. And they have everything all the way up to Herman Oak. I've seen Herman Oak sides advertised on their website and in their sales flyer. Uh, they have this oak leaf uh, leather, which is what this bag is made out of. This is the first bag I've ever made. I've shown it several times. Um, that's made out of a uh, side of leather I got from Tandy. So, uh, I, like I said, I recommend Tandy to anybody going to their stores. Their employees have always been very helpful here in Omaha. I haven't actually been to a Tandy store anywhere else but Omaha. But... Uh, it's always been a very good resource for me, and I think it'd be a very good resource for you. Uh, Tandy doesn't give me any money. I've never spoken to any other staff or anything about this YouTube channel or what I do as a hobby. So um, this is my own personal opinion, and take it for what it's worth. So this is Andrew in Omaha, Nebraska. Have a nice day.